Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. In this episode, we're going to talk about the TMUX software, which is a third-party software we can install that will allow us to manage numerous terminal sessions all within a single terminal window. It's very handy if we have different things we want to manage, especially if we can only have one terminal window. Let's say we're remoting into a computer with SSH. You might not just be able to open a new terminal window or a new terminal tab, so you're limited to just that single connection. That's where TMUX is going to come in handy. Now there is a competing product known as Screen, which if you want to know that, I did make a video on that in my prior life, uh, like four months ago, back when I had my luscious mane. But you know, things change, so here we are today, and we're gonna try a new software, TMUX. So first thing you need to do is you need to get this software installed. So sudo apt get install tmux. That's going to download it. And now you should have tmux installed and you should be able to say tmux. Hit enter and it opens a new window. It looks like it just kind of cleared out everything and gave us this green bar at the bottom, which uh, looks cool, but so far not a whole lot of useful stuff. So the very first thing you need to know is to exit out of this when you want to leave and you can't, you hold control, press B, and when you do that, it says, hey, I want to issue a command. Then you hit X. Now it's gonna give you the option, do you wanna kill pane zero? Yes or no, hit Y for yes, and it's exited. So that's an important thing to understand. Whenever you want to issue a tmux command, just hold control, slap B, and then followed by whatever key for whatever command you're trying to issue. X being exit. That's how you use tmux when you're inside of a tmux instance. Now there are commands you can issue before entering a tmux instance such as tmux ls and that's going to list any of the instances running which right now we don't have any. But what we can do is we can create a new tmux instance like so and we can close out of this session without actually killing this process. To do that, again, control slap B and then D for detach. And you can see it says detached from session zero. Now when we say tmux ls, we have one here. So that's running in the background. And you should be able to reopen that by saying tmux attach session. Hit enter and it reopens it. So to show you that again, we're gonna say something in here just so we can see some output. We'll say control B, D for detach, and then tmux attach session. And you can see it keeps all of that information there. Now you can also name your sessions. If you have a lot of things going on, you wanna keep it organized, I'll show you how to do that. But just a quick note, if you do have a tmux session running and you're trying to detach, but instead of hitting control B and then D, you just do control D, that's actually going to exit out of tmux and kill that session. So when we say tmux ls, you can see it says nothing. So just be careful of that. If you don't want to X out of it, make sure you hit control B first and then D by itself. But anyways, let's talk about now how to name a session. We'll say tmux new and then hyphen S for a session name. And here we'll just call it something like coding. That'll open the coding session. And within here, we can start working on some scripts. So let's say we had a file called script. We can execute it like so, which I created that earlier in an earlier video. It looked like this. That's the code inside of this script. But what if we wanted to basically execute code in one half of a window and have another terminal window to actually work in a text editor such as Vim or Nano or something like that? You can split your window into two panes by saying control B and then percent sign. And that'll split it like so. Now you can also zoom out if you need to see a little bit better. So on one end we could say nano script to open that file and then we can execute it on this end over here. You can switch between the two panes with control B semicolon. So you can see the cursors over here and then control B semicolon. Now the cursor is right here. So let's go ahead and execute this real quick to see what happens. Control B semicolon, we'll execute the script. It waits a second and says, hello world. Now let's say we wanted to change something, you know, make sure it's working. We'd say control B semicolon and say, oh, we don't want to say hello world. We actually just wanted to say hello internet. And then we could save with control S and then control B semicolon to switch back. 
and we can reissue the command and it says hello internet. So that's how you can edit and execute code in the same terminal window. Now there's actually numerous shortcut keys you should be aware of and shout out to linuxize.com for listing these out. So we just did control plus B semicolon which will toggle between the current and previous pane. I'm sure we could split it more times if we wanted. Let's try that out if we said control B and this time we'll use double quote and that's going to split top bottom. And now we can use another one of these shortcut keys control B plus O to go to the next pane which we can use to cycle through these. So control B O, now we're working on this one over here. Control B O, now we're working on this one over here. And then control B O, we're working on this one down here. And then when we're done with the pane, we can exit with control B X. So we'll control B X, kill pane one, yes. And then we can detach from the whole thing again, control B D, and that'll just remain inside of our sessions. And you can see that right here coding. Let's say we created a new session and this one we'll just call testing and we'll exit out of this. Now when we list, we have two different sessions going on. We have one called coding and one called testing. When we want to restore one of these, we can pass in the name such as coding. We'll actually add in a uh, T option here and that'll open it. So that is an introduction to Tmux. Obviously, it's pretty complicated if you're new, but it can be handy. It's probably a good tool to have if you want to execute a bunch of stuff in the background and pretty much turn a terminal into a more interactive experience where you can effectively use your computer and not just one terminal session. So it's pretty handy, good to know. And thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions for other tools to cover, drop them in the comment section below. would really appreciate that. And stay tuned for the upcoming episodes. Subscribe.